Hello everybody, I'm your host, Derek Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com! And today, we're going to talk about your credit. That's right, you've heard about the bailouts, but how about bailing out yourself? Now's the time to rearrange your debt, rearrange your credit, and you're saying how? That's right, you got to stay tuned. And please, don't forget the merch. Tofosi Optics. And please, like. Subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. All right, welcome back. That's right. Don't forget, we got to talk about this wealth. When the economy is going down, this is the time to build your wealth. So we got to talk about them stocks and bonds. Forget about the bonds. Stocks. But right behind me, Dave and Busters. Look at here. Due to the quarantine situation and uh, proximity to people, you can't be at Dave and Busters. So they're closed right now. Dave and Busters gives dividends. So you can imagine their stock might be going down in price. This might be a good time to pick up a few shares. And yes, everybody, anybody can afford it. This ain't like Tesla or something. This isn't like Berkshire Hathaway where it costs you an arm and a leg. So let's get down with some of that. And of course, you know, I'm getting some of that. But that doesn't mean you get some of that. That's I'm just saying, just giving you guys a little advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial planner. You know how it goes. But anyhow, let's talk about your credit because we're always trying to boost it up. That's right. And here's your opportunity. Let's start straight out the box. Let's say you're late on anything right now. Credit cards, missed a late payment on your uh, car, uh, mortgage, anything do the corona situation you can call your bank your lenders whoever and say can i get a deferment they will give you a deferment right now so if you're behind this is like a blessing in disguise so take advantage this is what the wealthy do they're reorganizing their debt when the federal reserve reduced their debt down to zero that they're loaning amongst themselves they're rearranging their debt like Carnival Cruise Lines right now, like Ford. They're all rearranging their debt, trying to get a lower interest rate. Why not you? That's right. Be like the wealthy. You can call up your lenders and ask for lower interest rates as well. Whether they give it to you or not, it's a whole other story. But what we're trying to do here is improve our credit, improve our loan situations. And yeah, that's right. Call up and get your deferment. It's step one. Everybody, call them all and say, hey, can I get a month or two off if that's what you want? And you could use some of that money about now if you might be getting laid off, if you might be getting reduced income in the household, this would be a perfect time to do it. So what are you trying to do otherwise, right? What are you trying to do here? So all I'm trying to say is, this is the time to use your advantage. And all those people that need to improve their credit scores, that's right, now's the time for you to apply for credit because the banks, the lenders, they're trying to give people extra money because they're getting bailout money. So we're going to talk about this a little further, but we're going to get on the screen. All right. So stay tuned. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. Just so you can see it for yourself. I figured I'd come to the computer so you know it's not anything that I'm just saying that may be just because I'm just talking crazy. You'll see in any uh, pandemic any downturns in the economy, even corporations, the one percenters, they all try to reset their holdings based on who they owe money to or who they have a reoccurring payments with or loans with or anything like that. So why not be like the one percenters? So as you can see here, I'm at Business Insider. I'll have a link down below to this page in the description. So uh, you can see here, I'm at uh, Business Insider. And it says right here, if you've been financially impacted by the coronavirus, you may be able to pause payments on these five bills. But keep in mind, pause payments means you're going to owe this money later. So you have to just keep in mind, some people are affected by the coronavirus, whether it's by a downturn of the money coming in due to people not shopping or that you're actually laid off. There's a myriad of reasons that you're going to be affected by the coronavirus. So if you want to take them upon these bill uh, pause payments or defer payments, 
then I suggest you get on the phone immediately and take advantage of this situation because you don't know what really is going to happen once they start testing people. So everybody stay your distance away from people. Make sure that you're not around anyone sick. And if you are, you automatically have to stay away from them and drink plenty of water, fluids, uh, wash your hands, make sure you have wipes, do the best you can. I know stores are out of things, but you might want to stock up if you can on at least uh, two weeks worth of food, water, whatever you normally use for two weeks as a standby and keep it rotating until this thing gets under control. All right, first things first, memberships and subscriptions. That's perfectly simple and easy to understand. Some people have, uh, like they're using Netflix accounts. Some people have Hulu. Some people have, like they're using amusement parks, sports teams. Uh, I'm using like a fitness, you know, center, a gym. Uh, you're going to find out different places that you have memberships with will hold off because those places are closed right now. You can't go use them, or at least you should not be able to go to a gym or an amusement park or sporting event at all. And again, if you're laid off from work, obviously you have uh, less money available to you. So these are the first kind of things that you want to go through. Credit card payments is what I mentioned, mentioned at the opening, is that you got to call them up and just say, can you defer it or... Uh, roll it to the next month uh, where they, you know, not double it up, but somehow where they'll have a couple of months and don't hold it against you, obviously. So they'll do that right now. Um, utility bills, uh, same thing. Um, and they're showing right here. Uh, Wi-Fi is doing it. Charter's doing it for 60 days. They already have them in and they're saying Centerpoint Energy, Excel Energy, Minnesota Power, uh, won't shut off customers, as in most states, utilities will not cut off sh uh, power for one to two months if you don't pay your bill. But keep in mind, you're still going to have to owe this. I just don't know what they're going to do as far as trying to break it down to where the months have come and then they say, well, you're, you're off work. You might owe $400 from the two months you're off work. Maybe they'll break it down into some sort of payment plan so you don't have to pay four five six hundred dollars you know from your first time back to work and then in some cases some people are going to be laid off and so as i've always said this is why you should have multiple streams of income because this right now proves my point and unfortunately a lot of people are going to be out of work so they're going to only be looking for essentials most of the time but there are still people who make money and they still buy things online so if you've uh, already been set up with an online business, you could still be getting orders. Uh, federal student loan payments, they're going to pause those according to the president uh, for up to 60 days. And apparently, as you can see here, they're going back to March 13th. For, so for everybody who has student loan payments, you can call them up, get that forbearance and uh, get that deferment for at least 60 days. So you don't have bad credit or they report that you didn't pay. But don't think that they're automatically going to do this for you. You should call up everybody. Some people might do it for you, but they don't normally do that. They're waiting on you to call. So you're the one that has to be uh, do the initiative and get to it. And then private student loans as well is on their list. So I have to agree with all that. And that's the short list. And now... I'm going to go to some other things as well, because we're talking about boosting your credit score. And you guys might be saying, well, Eric, how do I boost my credit score? And I'm saying for all the people that have derogatory credit, missed a payment and everything, just like in the opening, I was saying these deferments apply to you as well. And these deferments, I'll give you an example. Let's say you were late for the month of February. And now if you call up and say, hey, you know what, I have a problem with this coronavirus, I've, I've already had an issue, I missed a payment, they may give you deferment for February and March, and then next month it might start reporting current. They do this in these type of environments where there's bad things going on. All right, they help out people just like they do the one percenters. So you might as well call up and get that done. All right. It's pretty simple. This is going to be short and sweet. And all those who have mortgages, 
Bank rate is talking about it right now. Mortgage lenders offer help to borrowers affected by coronavirus. Well, everybody walking around can be affected by coronavirus when you think about it. Until you get a handle on how you can track this, how it's being moved about from human to human, which is allegedly it's airborne. It's not alleged. It is airborne. So airborne and touching surfaces, and this thing can stay on surfaces for up to nine days, they say. So that means this thing could get out of hand real fast and real easy. Because how can you protect yourself? Even a mask won't help you if it's airborne. So you still have to breathe oxygen. So what steps? Talk to your lender or mortgage servicer. And again, it's simple. Just call up their 800 number. And here at Bankrate, I'll have the link down below. They're just giving you the phone numbers. These are their hotlines for the deferments. Ally Bank, if you have an Ally Home payment, they're doing 120 days. That's that's what three months four months bank of america which i'm shocked at and by the way if people don't know i hate bank of america but uh i love their stock though but uh they apparently have something quicken loans td bank wells fargo and then of course this is the thing we always say be prepared to repay what you owe most of the times what you're trying to do is you're trying to move your payment back a payment so in other words let's just say you had 10 years even left on your mortgage and or anything for that matter it could be credit cards it could be cars it could be anything that you have a long-term payment plan on a personal loan anything and what you're trying to do is instead of making the payment in march or april or may if they let it go that long um they'll move those three months to the end of your loan so now you'll have 10 years three months of payments so that'll give you a little breathing room where you don't have to sweat and go out of your mind and be stressed out so now you can say okay in three months I might be able to find another job or I might be able to get some income coming in or whatever the case may be depending on who you are and who you work for because unemployment may be sketchy at this point as well and there they go file for unemployment it's as that it's that simple you have to if you are unemployed you have to try but there's going to be a lot of people. I mean, the website crashed for unemployment claims in uh, in certain states already because there's many people that have been laid off. And they're talking about being laid off for two or 30 days, 60 days, or we'll call you. And that's a dire situation. So this should tell you more than ever that what I've been preaching for the last year and a half is to get your extra streams of income multiple so therefore when things like this happen it's unpredictable not your fault you have a way to make a few extra hundred dollars a few thousand dollars while things are going bad for a lot of other people so that's all i have to say right now ladies and gentlemen and i thank you for listening thank you for watching thank you for being a supporter and please like subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates and you know it's hard out here. That's why you have to figure out the multiple streams of income when things go bad. And lately, I've been talking about that stock market. And anybody who's been paying attention and who has those velocity stocks has been in the positive. And what the last week I've been saying, sell a share or two and then buy some of these blue chip stocks that are well below market value. So take advantage. Do the damn thing and keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.